Today is the day then boys, if, and it's a massive, massive if, we manage to somehow get past Liverpool in the Champions League quarterfinals. We have such a favourable draw in the semis that you've got to imagine we could potentially get to a final. But Liverpool standing out where it's a massive, massive challenge. Let's get into the fixtures to see what you've missed since the last time we met. There's only two Serie A games played, the first of which was a boring nil-nil draw at home against Lazio. They had definitely deserved the win over us, but thankfully we kept the clean sheet. And in the only other game, it was a 4-0 away win against Torino. They're currently in the bottom three, so I'm not reading too much into this. Uh, Thiago Almada, Adam Plozek, Beljo, a new sign and finally got his first goal for the club first, I think. Moyes Keane as well on the score sheet. So that's his Serie A table looking like this. We currently sit in third place. Ten points behind Inter Milan at top of the table. Five points behind Juventus in second. But the best thing about it is we are now nine points clear from Atlanta in fifth. Really cementing ourselves as a top four club and Champions League football should be coming back to us next season. But let's move back to the Champions League football of this season. Barcelona, Chelsea, Atletico Madrid, Juve, ourselves versus Liverpool, Celtic versus Atlanta. We're away from home in our first game. We've got injuries galore. Lazaro is out now. He's injured for 9 to 12 days, but Adam Hlozek has returned from his injury. Uh, Markovic, of course, still out for another three months. And our centre-back that was signed is back up to our backups. He's out for three weeks as well. So if we pick up a centre-half injury, we are really, really struggling. I'm not going to start Liberato. We can start him. He has just returned from injury. This will be his first game back. But um, recommended uh, 45 minutes of action. We'll maybe bring him on if we need to. But if we don't need to, I'd rather sit him out and let him be fresh for the home tie against Liverpool. So this is how we're going to line up. Sport yellow in goal. Giglione, Armini and Anel uh, alongside Minoza in the defence. Locatelli, Alcaraz, Melagioni in the midfield. Adam Hlozek, Thiago Almado and Mois Keane, our front three of dreams. Liverpool, how are they doing in uh, in the Premier League? I have absolutely no idea. So they are currently sitting in second in the Premier League. Uh, two points behind Chelsea with a game in hand. So they're having a fantastic season. Manchester City have won both league titles that have uh, been existing in this game world. So Liverpool haven't been dominant there. But um, obviously they've still got absolutely phenomenal players. We've seen Sadio Mane last time. Alisson, Trent, Joe. It's basically... The Liverpool team you will know and remember, apart from Matthias Enrique, who comes in the midfield. First highlight of the game comes 10 minutes in. It's Liverpool, who are on the ball. And Mo Salah has completely done Manos. And he's in behind. Sporty Elo with a big, big save. Corner for Liverpool. Mo Salah is the man to take it. Van Dijk gets there at the near post. Thankfully, it goes over. 25 minutes gone. And a um, bit of a dull game. Come on, boys. Giglione on this right-hand side. Can we get an attacking opportunity out of this? I would absolutely love it. Nicolo Armini, do not lose the ball. That's fine. Our big clearance is uh, intercepted by Trent and Liverpool are away. Bobby for me. Oh, and Nell. Oh, and Nell, man. The suicide pass is the thing that does us. is absolutely dreadful. The least we could do is not make any defensive errors and gift them any goals. But we have well and truly just gifted them a massive, massive goal. Henderson into Salah. Ball over the top. Firmino's in behind. It's a poor first touch. And Nell just boot it, mate. Completely sells. Sport yellow short. And we are 1-0 down. Another highlight now. Thiago Almada clears for ourselves. Moise Keane wins the header. And Adam Hlozek, he's not quite in behind. He's got a man to beat. His shot is very poor. And there's half time. I'm not, I'm not that disappointed by this so far. Obviously, I'd love to be at 0-0. But 1-0 uh, is not the worst result in the world. We do have a highlight straight from kickoff as well. So uh, if we get ourselves back into this... Really early on in the second half, I'd be absolutely loving life. Munoz through to Melagioni on this left-hand side. He's got Moyes Keane overlapping and he does find him. Can he get past Trent? He cannot. And is this going to be a Liverpool counter-attack? Probably is. Alexander-Arnold overlaps down this right-hand side. Mo Salah offers himself and Firmino is there. Is, was that the highlight? I don't. I can't imagine it was. No, this is. Matthias Emrique into Mo Salah on the edge. He takes the strike. Saved by Sportiello. A poor save by Sport Yellow, might I add. And Sadio Mane is there to get the second goal for Liverpool. He's 20th goal of the season. And, um, yeah, 2 0 down. Not great. Liverpool with the corner. Robertson plays in Van Dyke is tormenting us from set pieces. Thankfully, he hasn't managed to get one on target today. But looking at the match stats, we are well and truly not in this game whatsoever. And with half an hour to go, I'm very hesitant to actually go for this match because it could turn into a bit of a cricket score. And um, 
at two nil, it still at least gives us a slim bit of hope going into the home tie at three nil. You're probably looking at us exiting the competition at this stage. Half an hour to go. If we could get one goal, I'd be very, very happy. At least gives us the away goal to try and claw something back out of this game. But it's our Liverpool right now. 25 minutes to go. We do get ourselves a highlight. Thiago Almada picks up the clearance from Liverpool's corner. He's got a lot of work to do and not a lot of support to do it. He holds the ball up. Get him red carded, ref. That was absolutely disgusting. He's going over to watch the video. VAR is going to decide whether it's a red card or not. Oh, check and penalty. Oh, well, it wasn't a penalty. I could tell you this, ref. It was well outside the box. No penalty. Yeah, I thought so. It's a free kick from a good position, though. Alcaraz will be the man who steps over it. Whips it in. Keane nods it down. Almada taken down in the box. Melodjoni. He's got Alcaraz there. He doesn't try and find him. And this is going to fizzle out. There we are. If we're still at 3-0 going in the final 15... I'm going to go for this and really push our boys on. If we're at 4-0 and stuff, I'm going to do it now. Curtis Jones coming down the right-hand side. Moise Keane doing some nice tracking back there, but um, just make sure we don't lose it in our own third, boys. Munoz overlapping, replacing Moise Keane as the left striker there. Sport Yellow's big punt. Virgil van Dijk will eat that up. All D and Joe Felix over the top for Sadio Mane. Hits the post. Giglione clears. Munoz does eventually clear. All right, we're going for it. What's the point in sitting on this at 3-0? It's highly unlikely we're going to be able to beat them 3-0 at home or buy more to actually get us to qualify. So let's just go for it. So we've made the changes. Let's see if they make a blind bit of difference. We'll get Thomas Belmont on for Alcaraz, as suggested by the assistant manager. Locatelli is struggling out there as well. We'll get him off uh, tag Seth. But um, it looks like our changes have made not a blind bit of difference. Although they, they might have nullified Liverpool's attack a little bit. But with two minutes to go, we're going to have to have something special here if we're going to get back into this game. Henderson out wide to Joe Felix. Liverpool have completely dominated from start to finish. And Sadio Mane, Sporty Yellow gets beat He's from post. 4-0. I mean, it was expected. I, I kind of act too disappointed. We weren't expected to get through this at all. Um, but to lose 4-0 and to basically be out of it after the first leg, it's a bitter pill to swallow. I will bring you the second leg. I've got to bring you the second leg, haven't I? Inter Milan is the game in between. Probably a more prudent thing to bring you that one live. But I'm going to play it off screen. We'll play Liverpool in the second leg. And uh, let's just try and regain some pride and maybe get a win. So, we've played the Inter Milan game. It didn't go well. We got beat 3-1 at home. They went 3-0 up through Esposito, who they started. So that means Esposito is now getting game time for Inter Milan. He is wanted by Roma and Atletico Madrid. Um, please become available in the summer. I would very much like to sign you. Uh, who else scored? Lotero Martinez and Herving Lozano scored for them as well. Adam Plozek got a consolation for us later on. But this might end up being the saddest episode I think I've ever released. We've got Liverpool next. I just want to avoid embarrassment, to be quite honest with you. Um, 4-0 down. It's highly unlikely we're ever going to get through. So let's um, just get the kick off, play our normal game for at least the first 45. And then we'll judge on the second half whether it's even worth going for it. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's fully strength side. They've got Joe Felix starting this time. I don't believe they did last time. I think he came off the bench, but I could be mistaken. Let's get to the game and let's kick off. First highlight of the game comes five minutes in, and of course... It's Liverpool on the attack down the left-hand side. Joe Felix is played through by Firmino. He goes back to Joe Gomez, Matthias Enrique. He liked a long shot in the last game. Is he going to do it again? No. Oh, what a lovely, lovely work through goal. 1-0 down. <laughs> Jeez. Should we get battered 6-0? Right. Let's just get battered. Why? What's the point in holding back in a knockout competition? Let's just get absolutely battered. Let's push the line. Let's just do everything. Offside, get stuck in, uh, in possession. We're going to go direct. We're going to shoot on sight. Mix crosses are fine. Run the defence, be more expressive. Play for set pieces as well. Going to go standard uh, attack and width. And I might have just lost the plot. We might end up getting beat six or seven here. But you never know. We might end up scoring a couple as well. And after all them attacking changes, 15 minutes go by without incident. We do have ourselves another highlight. Liberato coming in down that left-hand side. Can he feed the ball into the box? He can. Melodjoni's there. Takes a strike uh, over the bar. Offside. Whatever. Come on, boys. Just get a goal back. 
just let let me score. Let me feel the embrace of happiness you get when you score on Football Manager. Look, I tell you with the ball through. Almada's in behind. Ah, we've scored. <laughs> it's the same highlight. So to be fair to myself, I went out for a corner. I assumed the highlight was going to die. Um, we do end up scoring from it. Mella Joni gives the ball away inexplicably here. He does. Uh, someone else, Locatelli, wins it back. Thiago Amado saves the ball. And it is a beautiful strike. We got one back. Another four, five to go. Liverpool with a th long throw in is cleared by Mella Joni. Only as far as Jordan Henderson. The ball's whipped in. We do get a clear. Alcaraz, come on. Let's burst with a bit of pace. We've got Adam Hlozek there. I mean, what sort of pass is that? Jordan Henderson ends up picking it up in the middle of midfield. Mania. With the ball over the top for Zhao Felix. Navi Keita takes the strike. Oh, goes close. Oh, Klosek's in behind now. Nice little pass through by uh, Thiago Almada. He chicks... Oh, man. Chips the keeper. It was a bit cheeky. Um, probably should have just struck that normally at the back post. But Alisson saves. The highlight continues. So it might not be over for us just yet. And Nell plays it over to Liberato on this left-hand side. His pass to Keane is incredibly poor. And Liverpool regain possession. But we get it back. Giglione. Out of Adam Plozek. He's got the overlap there. But he finds uh, Giglione once again. Uh, not really many options. He goes for goal. I mean. It's 2-1. It's 2-1 boys. We've scored. We've scored a couple of goals. I'm not getting excited. Let's skip the replay. And the rest of the first half. Does not go by without incident. We have one final highlight. 30 seconds to go in this half. Alexander Arnold. Whips it in, Gomez through to Mania, that's surely offside referee, surely. And it was, goal disallowed, thank God for that. Right, not a lot we can do at this point, uh, we could make some substitutions just to keep our legs fresh, but uh, I don't really see the need for that, we might as well stick with what we've got. If we get a couple of more goals, then uh, then we, then things get interesting, but... I'm not I'm not expecting it. Bobby Firmino out of Trent on this right-hand side, we know he's got a decent crossing, we can't quite stop it. He plays it out with Joe Gomez. Naby Keita offside. No. Offside referee. Where's VAR? Naby Keita gets his sixth goal of the season and equalises things. 2-2 two -two for the night. 6-2 <laughs> on aggregate. Thiago Almada with a free kick. He plays it in. Alisson saves comfortably. I feel like I'm losing my marbles. Alisson with a big kick up. Our mini wins at Locatelli. Come on, boys. Get another goal. Let's just win this match. Forget about the whole tie. Adam Hlozek, nice little finish. Let's just win this game. Hlozek, 17th goal of the season. And this has been a poor season for him. So 17 goals is nothing to sneeze at. 3-2. Alcaraz to Giglione on this right-hand side. 20 minutes left. Fabinho clears. We did the pretty isolated up top right now. Liberato whips it in. Virgil gets rid. Mania. <laughs> there probably is going to be an opportunity for a break here. If they can find Fabinho, but can't. Enel Amencevic clears it quite comfortably. Liberato out wide to the right-hand side for Adam Hlozek. Got a lot of work to do from here, but he finds Alcaraz in the box. Do you know a four Liverpool too? If only we didn't get battered in the last game. Three more goals. Three more goals. <laughs> 70 minutes in. <laughs> come on. Come on, football manager. Just make my dreams come. Oh, why? Did I even start asking the FM gods? It's too late, lads. You're too late. Oh, look at telly. What the hell was that? Bobby Firmino with the first touch of dreams takes a past the defender. Thankfully, his finishing is quite poor. We'll get Melodjoni off. We'll bring on Tag Seth in the centre of midfield. Liberato off for as much as he's good. We'll bring on Ehen Munoz. Six minutes left in this game. And unless there's a miracle, we are exiting the Champions League at the quarter final stage. Manuel Locatelli to Tag Seth. Got lots of space for Munoz on this left-hand side. It's Liberato. The substitution hasn't happened yet. He plays it in. Adam Hlozek said the defence falls asleep. 5-2 on the night. 5-2. If we hadn't conceded them two goals, we'll be going through right now. Hey, listen, lads. We're going out the Champions League to Liverpool. But I think we'll be very, very proud of this second leg performance. I mean, we sort of just went for it. Balls to the wall type style. But um, to beat Liverpool 5-2 under any circumstance is nothing to sneeze at. So, final whistle is going to blow. We do have a final highlight. It's going to be a corner for ourselves. Can't, um, oh, it's a goal kick. Never mind. I'm not sure what's happening. There it is. It's finally full time. Genoa 5, Liverpool 2. 5-6 aggregate defeat. Unlucky, boys. It wasn't meant to be. Oh, we had such a perfect route to the final as well. It's just Liverpool. Just too good. So, we would have been facing Atalanta 
in the Champions League semis if we were to make it through. Juve and Chelsea uh, complete the semi-finals. Two Italian clubs. Absolutely fantastic, at least from our coefficient perspective. But um, yeah, that ends our Champions League run for this season and pretty much finishes this season off in terms of really, really crucial games. We're still nine points clear from Atlanta, even with that defeat to Inter Milan and with them remaining in the Champions League. You would imagine that's where the majority of their focus will be for the rest of the season. So I think the next episode then, boys, is just going to be the end of season. We've got UV in, in uh, ESC Milan. Unless something pops up where maybe it's a crunch game for Champions League qualification where we could actually slip out of it, I'll maybe return then. But as things stand, it'll probably be ESC Milan at home to finish off this season. But anyway, lads, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.